the Cheetahs beat the Kings 29-20 in Port Elizabeth in the first of seven local PRO 14 derbies that took place on Super Saturday. Wins were also claimed by Connacht, Scarlets, Zebra and Ospreys while Munster and Ulster drew, which means Edinburgh progress. Kings 20-29 Cheetahs The Cheetahs secured a PRO 14 quarterfinal berth with a hard-fought 29-20 victory over local rivals the Southern Kings in Port Elizabeth on Saturday. Kings, who were in search of only their second PRO 14 win, started the brighter of the sides, bossing the early exchanges and were rewarded with the game's opening try when NTA Benny Duke had dotted down with five minutes gone on the clock. However, the Cheetahs hit back on the 20-minute mark when Paul Schumann crashed over to level matters at 10-10. Soon after, Kings fly half Masix Ole Banda restored the home side's lead with a penalty. But the Cheetahs would ensure they took a 22-13 lead into the interval courtesy of two further tries from Neil Murray and Uzair Cassium before referee Ken Gile Jades when he brought the first half to a close. The Kings began the first as they started the second and grabbed a try through wing Harlan Clausen to cut the deficit to two. But the Cheetahs would have the last laugh as Captain Francois Venter dotted down to secure the victory. The scorers, for Kings, tries, Dukisa, Clausen Cons, Banda 2 pens, Banda 2 for Cheetahs, tries, Schumann, Mare, Schumann, Venter Cons, Mare 3 pen, Mare Kings, 15 Yao Pangs, 14 Michael McCussie, 13 Jacques Nell, 12 NTA Benny Dukisa, 11 Harlan Clausen, 10 Masek Sol Banda, 9 Godlin Massimla, 8 Rise Van Skalkvik, 7 Martin Isberger, 6 Kea Majola, 5 Bobby Dewey, 4 Stefan Grief, 3 Ross Out de Clerk, 2 Stefan Kutsi, 1 Just and 4 Wood Placements, 16 Tanga Balakil, 17 Dion van der Westwiesen, 18 Luvuyo Pupuma, 19 Lindo Kualwelamu, 20 Lubabalo Mount Ayanda, 21 Luzanda Badiana, 22 JP Smith, 23 JC Ruse Cheetahs, 15 Clayton Blametjes, 14 William Small Smith, 13 Francois Venter, C. 12 Clinton Swart, 11 Sibahil Maxwain, 10 Neil Mayer, 90 N. Meyer, 8 Uzair Cassium, 7 Upa Mahoj, 6 Paul Schumann, 5 Reniel Hugo, 4 Sharo Wegner, 3 Johan Kutsi, 2 Tourston Van Jarsweld, 1 Ox and CHE replacements, 16 Jacques Dutoy, 17 Charles Mayer, 18 Tom Botha, 19 Rainier Bernardo, 20 Hanko Venter, 21 Zima Cabela, 22 Johan Gusen, 23 Lloyd Grief Referee, Pengile Jade Swinney, South Africa, Assistant Referees, Quinton Nimmelman, South Africa, Rodney Bonaparte, South Africa, Television Match Official, Johan Grief, South Africa, Dragons 8-33 Scarlet Scarlet spoke to home quarterfinal against the Cheetahs after they beat the Dragons 33-8 with a bonus point at the Principality Stadium. A first-half try from Ryan Elias set them on their way as Scarlets went into the break leading 7-3, with the Dragons still in with a shout. But after that Wayne Pavak's charges turned the screw with a penalty try and two crossings from TADHG Beer and wrapping up the maximum. There was still time for Steph Evans to get over five minutes from time, with the Dragons having scored just one try, through Jared Rosser. The scorers, for Dragons, try, Rosser pen, Robson yellow card, Coleman for Scarlets, tries, Elias penalty try, Beer 2, S. Evans cons, Half Penny 3 Dragons, 15 Callum Amos, 14 Ashton Hewitt, 13 Zane Kirkner, 12 Connor Edwards, 11 Jared Rosser, 10 Arwal Rosbin, 9 Charlie Davies, 8 James Benjamin, 7 Aaron Wainwright, 6 Harry Ketty, 5 Raynard Landman, 4 Joe Davies, 3 Lloyd Fairbrother, 2 Elliot D. C., 1 Thomas Davies replacements, 16 Liam Bell, 17 Luke Garrett, 18 Dan Suter, 19 Max Williams, 20 Tane Basham, 21 Saral Protorius, 22 Adam Warren, 23 Joe Goodchild Scarlets, 15 Lee Halfpenny, 14 Yoan Nicholas, 13 Scott Williams, C, 12 Adla Parks, 11 Steph Evans, 10 Reese Patchell, 9 Gareth Davies, 8 Will Boyd, 7 James Davies, 6 TADHG Beard, 5 Steve Cummins, 4 Lewis Rollins, 3 Samson Lee, 2 Ryan Elias, 1 Rob Evans Replacements, 16 Ken Owen, 17 Phil Price, 18 Werner Kruger, 19 David Bulbring, 20 John Barkley, 21 Jonathan Evans, 22 Dan Jones, 23 Steph Hughes Referee, Lloyd Linton, Scotland, Assistant Referees, Adam Jones, Wales, Gwyn Morris, Wales, Television Match Official, Leo Colgan, Ireland, Connacht 47 to 10 lines to the retiring John Muldoon was given a fitting send-off at the sports ground as Connacht strolled to a 47 to 10 win over high-flying Leinster. They began well when NIYI Adiola Kun crossed after three minutes, with Tiernan O'Halloran and Kieran Marmion scoring before the break. Second half scores from Adiola Kun, Marmion, Bundyaki and Kowlin Blade wrapped up the maximum, with Muldoon kicking a conversion. 
Leinster were already assured a home semi and named much changed side from their European 15, with Barry Daly their lone try scorer. The scorers, for Connick, tries, Addy Olakun 2, O'Halloran, Marmion Tuaki, Blade Cons, Cardi 4 Ronaldson, Muldoon for Leinster, Try, Daly Con, Carberry Pen, Carberry Connick, 15 Tiernan O'Halloran, 14 NIYI Addy Olakun, 13 Tom Farrell, 12 Bundy Aki, 11 Matt Healy, 10 Jack Cardi, 9 Kieran Marmion, 8 John Muldoon, C, 7 Jared Butler, 6 Owen McKeon, 5 Quinn Rue, 4 Gavin Thornberry, 3 Finlay Bealum, 2 Shane Delahan, 1 Dennis Buckley, Placements, 16 Tom McCartney, 17 Peter McCabe, 18 Connor Carey, 19 Alden Delane, 20 Owen Masterson, 21 Cowlin Blade, 22 Craig Ronaldson, 23 Dara Leader Leinster, Joey Carberry, 14 Barry Daly, 13 Tom Daly, 12 Noel Reed, 11 James Lowe, 10 Ross Byrne, 9 Nick McCarthy, 8 Jack Conan, 7 Peter Timmons, 6 Max Deegan, 5 Mick Carney, 4 Ross Milani, 3 Andrew Porter, 2 James Tracy, 1 Jack McGrath, C. Replacements, 16 Sean Crow. 17 Kian Healy, 18 Michael Bent, 19 Devon Toner, 20 Jordy Murphy, 21 Jameson Gibson Park, 22 Jordan Larmore, 23 Adam Byrne Referee, Andrew Brace, Ireland Assistant Referees, Joy Neville, Ireland, Kieran Berry, Ireland Television Match Official, Ali Hodges, Ireland Benetton 17 to 22 Zebra with just a single change from their shock victory over Leinster last time out, Benetton looked to build on that win in this derby clash. In a slow start, the hosts took the lead on 22 minutes when Captain Alberto Scarby went over by the posts after the ball broke from a scrum. Tommaso Allen added the two for a seven-point lead, but David Cece countered before the break. Matched with a penalty from Marcelo Violi, Zebra held a 8-7 lead at halftime. That led grew after the break with a Carlo Canna try, but the hosts took back momentum and the advantage when bodies forced Allen over the line. His conversion gave Benetton a single-point lead. Another Allen kick was soon countered by one from Violi as momentum continued to swing, the hosts only narrowly ahead as time went on. But with 15 minutes to go, Zebra had a 19-17 buffer thanks to a third kick from Violi before his fourth penalty late unsealed the victory. The scorers, for Benetton, tries, Scarby 2 cons, Allen 2 pen, Allen for Zebra, tries, CC, Canna pens, Violi 4 Benetton, 15 Jaden Hayward, 14 Tommaso Benvenuti, 13 Tommaso Iannone, 12 Alberto Scarby, C, 11 Monte Wayne, 10 Tommaso Allen, 9 Tito Tibaldi, 8 NAS Imanu, 7 Sebastian Negri, 6 Federico Raza, 5 Alessandro Zani, 4 Marco Lazzaroni, 3 Simone Ferrari, 2 Luca Baigai, 1 Federico Zani replacements, 16 Haim 5 up, 17 Sharif Tror, 18 Tiziano Piscali, 19 Marco Fuser, 20 Dean Budd, 21 Abraham Stain, 22 Luca Sperendino, 23 Marty Banks Zebra, 15 Matteo Minozzi, 14 Mattia Bellini, 13 Giulio Bassegni, 12 Tommaso Castello, C, 11 Giovanni Battista Venditti, 10 Carlo Canna, 9 Marcello Violi, 8 David CC, 7 Johan Meyer, 6 Jacopo Sardo, 5 George Biaggi, 4 Leonard Kremov, 3 Dario Cestellini, 2 Olivero Fabiani, 1 Andrea Loboti replacements, 16 Lujandre Luz, 17 Cruz on now, 18 Eduardo Bello, 19 Valerio Bernabeu, 20 Derek Mini, 21 Guglielmo Palazzani, 22 Eduardo Padovini, 23 Gabriele Di Giulio referee, JP Doyle, England, assistant referees, Manuel Botino, Italy, John Lucanecchi, Italy, television match official, Sean Davy, England, Munster 24 to 24 Ulster the sides had only been out for a minute when Ulster made a mess of a defensive situation conceding possession on their line allowing Duncan Williams to get in for a superb Munster start. The conversion followed but Ulster were soon back on terms. This time it was Ulster who stole possession away in the middle and Stuart McCloskey went over on five minutes, with Johnny McPhillips leveling up. Ulster 10 kicked his side into the ascendancy for the first time with his first penalty of the evening, but Munster regained that lead with their second try just before the half hour. A line out pressed the visitors back and after a failed clearance, Brian Scott went through for a 14-10 lead. It was Ulster's turn to make the most of a penalty next when they recorded the fourth try in 34 minutes. Murray Best emerged from the back of a mall to dot down, and Ulster extended their halftime lead to 10 points when Best got his second just before the break. Looking to defend the 24-14 lead, Ulster lost Luke Marshall to the sin bin early in the second half and almost immediately, Munster got the first points of the half. Robin Copeland, who had earlier seen yellow himself, made the most of the extra man to cut the gap down to only three. 
with 12 minutes to go, JJ Hanrahan leveled up with a penalty to set up a teasing finale. Ulster piled on the pressure late on as they looked to prolong their season, but didn't have enough to secure a bonus point win as their campaign ended in a draw. Scorers, for Munster, tries, Williams, Scott, Copeland, Cons, Hanrahan 3 pen, Hanrahan yellow card, Copeland for Ulster, tries, McCloskey, best 2 cons, McPhillips 3 pen, McPhillips yellow card, Marshall Munster, 15 Stephen Fitzgerald, 14 Calvin Nash, 13 Sammy Arnold, 12 Dan Goggin, 11 Darren Sweetnam, 10 JJ Hanrahan, 9 Duncan Williams, 8 Robin Copeland, 7 Connor Oliver, 6 Dave O'Callaghan, 5 Darren O'Shea, 4 Gerbrandt Grobler, 3 Brian Scott, 2 Mike Sherry, C, 1 James Cronin replacements, 16 Reese Marshall, 17 Jeremy Lauman, 18 Stephen Archer, 19 Jean Klain, 20 Jack O'Donohue, 21 James Hart, 22 Bill Johnston, 23 Shane Daly Ulster, 15 Lewis Ludic, 14 Craig Gilroy, 13 Luke Marshall, 12 Stuart McCloskey, 11 Jacob Stockdale, 10 Johnny McPhillips, 9 Dave Shanahan, 8 Nick Timoney, 7 Sean Reedy, 6 Clive Rosk, 5 Ian Henderson, 4 Alan O'Connor, 3 Ross Kane, 2 Rory Best, C, 1 Callum Black replacements, 16 Rob Herring, 17 Andy Warwick, 18 Tom O'Toole, 19 Kieran Treadwell, 20 Chris Henry, 21 Paul Marshall, 22 Angus Curtis, 23 Tommy Bowie referee, Ben Whitehouse, Wales, assistant referees, Alad Evans, Wales, Simon Reese, Wales, Wales, television match official, Sean Brickell, Wales, Cardiff Blues 23-26 Ospreys The Judgment Day clash started with an early three points from Dan Bigger to give Ospreys the advantage. Blues leveled though with a 40 meters kick from Gareth Anscombe making it three apiece. But it was the visitors who struck the first meaningful points on 18 minutes. Sam Cross moved Ospreys further up the field but it was Aylin Wynne Jones with the final piece of action for the opening try, the conversion following. The Blues were second best for long stretches of the first half but they leveled again when Anscombe took possession, weaved his way through a couple of challenges and bounced off Tom Haberfield to make it 10-10. And it was soon a lead for the Blues when Stephen Shingler got inside the defense before feeding Garen Smith to go down, a kick from Anscombe extending Cardiff's lead to 20-13. Ospreys were back on terms on 57 minutes when Bigger made the most of some poor attempted tackles to find the line, but Anscombe was again on hand to make the lead three points in favor of Blues. The late rally from Ospreys stole victory. Their first three points of the final 10 minutes came again from Bigger, 23-23 the score. And with time running out, a drop goal from the same man stole a 26-23 win. The scorers, for Cardiff Blues, tries, Anscombe, Smythe Cons, Anscombe 2 pens, Anscombe 3 for Ospreys, tries, A Jones, Bigger Cons, Bigger 2 pens, Bigger 3 drop goal, Bigger Cardiff Blues, 15 Matthew Morgan, 14 Aled Summerhill, 13 Darren Smith, 12 Stephen Shingler, 11 Blaine Scully, 10 Gareth Anscombe, C, 9 Lloyd Williams, 8 Josh Turnbull, 7 Ollie Robinson, 6 Macaulay Cook, 5 James Down, 4 Damian Welch, 3 Tau Fizzo Feliz, 2 Kirby by Hill, 1 Reese Gill Placements, 16 Ethan Lewis, 17 Brad Thayer, 18 Dylan Lewis, 19 Ben Murphy, 20 Alan Lawrence, 21 Lewis Jones, 22 Harry Millard, 23 Max Llewellyn Ospreys, 15 Dan Evans, 14 Jeff Hassler, 13 Kieran Fonosha, 12 Owen Watkin, 11 Hanno Dirksen, 10 Dan Bigger, 9 Tom Haberfield, 8 James King, 7 Justin Tipurek, 6 Sam Cross, 5 Alan Owen Jones, C, 4 Bradley Davies, 3 Dimitri Arhip, 2 Scott Otten, 1 Nicky Smith replaced 16 Yvonne Phillips, 17 Roger e. Jones, 18 MAAFUFI, 19 Adam Beard, 20 Georgie Nemsadza, 21 Ruben Morgan Williams, 22 Sam Davies, 23 Ashley Beck Referee, Frank Murphy Ireland, Assistant Referees, Dan Jones Wales, Shane Kieran's Ireland Television. Match official, Neil Hennessy, Wales, Edinburgh v Glasgow The teams, Edinburgh, 15 Blair Kinghorn, 14 Dougie Fife, 13 James Johnston, 12 Christine, 11 Duhan van der Moe, 10 Jaco van der Walt, 9 Sam Hiddell Goklein, 8 Bill Mata, 7 Jamie Ritchie, 6 Magnus Bradbury, 5 Grant Gilchrist, 4 Ben Tules, 3 Simon Bergen, 2 Stuart McInally, C, 1 Jordan Lay Replacements, 16 Neil Cochran, 17 Allen Dell, 18 W.P. Nell, 19 Lewis Carmichael, 20 Cornell Du 
Richard Preeze, 21 Nathan Fowles, 22 Duncan Weir, 23 Mark Bennett Glasgow, 15 Stuart Hogg, 14 Tommy Seymour, 13 Nick Grigg, 12 Sam Johnson, 11 DTH Van Der Merwe, 10 Finn Russell, 9 George Horn, 8 Ryan Wilson, C, 7 Callum Gibbons, 6 Matt Fagerson, 5 Johnny Gray, 4 Tim Swinson, 3 Xander Fagerson, 2 Fraser Brown, 1 Alex Allen Replacements, 16 George Turner, 17 Jamie Boddy, 18 CU Ohala New Kanuka, 19 Rob Harley, 20 Chris Fusaro, 21 Henry Pyrgos, 22 Peter Horn, 23 Lee Jones Referee, Nigel Owens, Wales Assistant Referees, Mike Adamson, Scotland, Dunks McClement, Scotland, Television Match Official, Neil Patterson, Scotland.